All right, hello friends. We are back in Valheim. Hugin was supposed to be back here, but has since departed, so I guess he doesn't have any more advice to give us. But that's okay. For now, let's see. What do we need to do today? I know last time um, we collected a whole bunch of rocks and flints and stuff. I think I need to be able to make some arrows. Actually, I should probably do that now. And then I think our next order of business is to craft a bow so we can use those arrows to hunt for deer. Because I'm not going to get by very far on just raspberries and mushrooms. There we go. Whoops. Flint stonehead arrows. Yes, please. Can I have some more of those? Nah. That's okay. 20 should be enough. Um, see, so I already have an axe. A club could be cool, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need it for a while because I have a stone axe, which is uh, a weapon as much as it is a tool. Now we've got a hammer. Ooh, we are going to want a hoe because that will help us work the earth. And then we've already got a torch. I don't think I need any wood arrows for right now. So for now, oh wait, how do I make a bow? Let's see. A crude bow needs wood and leather scraps. We don't have any leather scraps, so we're going boar hunting, it looks like. Let's go find some boars. Oh, there you are, Hugin! Okay, I was gonna say, we were gonna talk earlier, and then you just kinda like, peaced out. I have crafted a shield. A shield allows you to block incoming damage. If your timing is perfect, the enemy may also be parried. Be careful though, if you block too many hits you will become staggered. The amount of damage you can block before becoming staggered depends on your maximum health. So if you plan on tanking staggered, uh, oh excuse me, taking a lot of damage, you should eat food that increases your health. Heavier shields will block more damage, but will also slow you down. Good to know. Okay. Gotta fix my headphones for a bit. Oh, bye Hugin. Alright, so, I'm not thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> as he appears again over here. What do you need, Hugin? What do you What do you want? Oh, uh, I've crafted a hoe. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. You betcha. We have already seen how really, really awful it can be when your fire is floating under your house. <laughs> Uh, if you saw the last video, I, uh, kind of set myself on fire through the floorboards. It was... it was fun. I say that with so much sarcasm, by the way. Oh, I should probably eat some food. Why do I only have eight health points? What the heck? Okay. Good thing I noticed that, otherwise I would have gotten trounced by boars. Oh, we've had another rune stone over here. I think the last video I referred to them as way signs, but they're rune stones. Because, you know, runes. Aw, that's right, I had this lovely little poem. Okay. So, I know there's bees in that house, but honestly, we're not doing so hot on HP, so we're gonna avoid the bees. Because I really don't feel like getting stung to death. And where are all of the boars? We are boarless. Sad. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda wander around and see. Oh, there's one! Okay. I was gonna say, there were a whole bunch of them earlier. So, uh, let's get some bacon, shall we? There we go. Okay. So, we've got some leather scraps. I think we needed like four or five of them to make a bow. So,. We're gonna need a lot more boars. They seem really scarce today, which kind of sucks. Because I don't really want to walk around all day. But you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh. Okay. A 
we'll see what we can find. Is that a boar I see? Hello? That is a log. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but apparently there's a deer around here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna outrun him. That's why we Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> I got it! <laughs> That's crazy. Nice. Nice. Ooh, now I can have some better clothes. Yeah, the deer's AI is kind of dumb. If you're close enough, a lot of times they like circle back around to run towards you, which is really horrible. <laughs> Uh, survival instincts, but you know, it works out for me. I know there's like a meadow over here by the stone circle, so that's where I'm heading. Let's see if we can find more boars. Because, as lovely as that deer was, it doesn't actually create leather scraps, only boars do that. And so, if I want a bow, I'm gonna need boars specifically. Oh, speaking of which. Hey, my dude. And then there's this grayling coming to ruin my day. Back up, my dude. Back up. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna take his stuff too, because he's gonna give me resin. Yay. Okay. So now I have two leather scraps. Okay. So let's just keep following this path, shall we? Oop. Is there a deer somewhere? Let's see if I can sneak up on it. I might just be able to. But there's no guarantees, because it can, you know, see me. Ooh, I'm so close. He's just looking at me like, hey man, what's up? It's a nice day we're having. Alright, get him! <laughs> well, there he goes. Alright, well, okay, I love how I was like, really need this bow, you guys. You really need this bow to kill these deer. But actually, I can just sneak up on them. I don't even know that would work to be honest. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself on that one. Oh, now we're gonna do a dance. There we go. Okay, so we've got some more boar trophies. I saw a second boar around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Come here, you. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I know there are mushrooms and stuff growing around the circle, which I would very much like as a backup snack. But I think we got them all, unfortunately. Yeah, they haven't respawned yet. That's okay. Um, I don't see a whole lot of other animals back here. I can hear a deer. I think I see a boar over there, but that might be a stump. Nope, that's a boar. Oh, I've run out of stamina. Ow. Ow, ow. I didn't type parry it in time. Okay, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Block. And parry. Okay. So we've got more bacon and stuff, and then there's this douchebag. Alright, come on. Are you gonna hit me or what? Them's fighting words. No, not the tree, the grayling. I want to get the grayling. There we go. Cool. So, ooh, a deer. Let's see if we can repeat that sneaking trick, because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think that was gonna work. Now, it looks like it's also facing us, so I'm gonna try to, like, inch around. Um, I think not. Yeah, okay, so that one's not gonna work. But it was also looking right at us, so, like, fair. <laughs> it is... Um, is it starting to get dark? It's kind of hard to tell from over here. 
Oh yeah, so those are the trees. Well, the branches of the world tree up in the sky. Because remember, Valheim is this tenth world that has been split from the world tree to exile all of these bosses that we're about to go kill. And supposedly, if we kill all these bosses, Odin will reward us um, with a place in Valhalla. If you're not familiar with Norse mythology, Odin is the king of the gods. Um, and Valhalla was like the warrior's paradise. People who died in battle bring them down. Um, were believed to enter Valhalla as a kind of um, reward for their bravery. So apparently, this place and our mission here is kind of like our, our proving to Odin that we are worthy for Valhalla. Now, we also know that supposedly we were already died on we already died on the battlefield. Because from the beginning of the game we're brought here by a Valkyrie, which um, are female servants of Odin with wings that um, carry the noble dead from the battlefield to Valhalla. So it's kind of funny though, if you think about it, because like I should already be in Valhalla if I we already died in battle. But it's like Odin's like, nah, you have like another exam. You passed the first test, but there is in fact a second test. I mean, I'm all good to be here. It's nice. We got necks. I got deer, all that good stuff. But at the same time, like, if you take it literally, it's a little insulting. Or like, I literally did my job. And Odin was like, <laughs> we're gonna put you through the second interview process, <laughs> actually. So just kind of chill. I'm gonna get you here. Yeah! Ow! Dude. Dude. I have never killed deer by stealth this way before. I'm actually like super proud of myself. I know that's not that impressive, but wow. Much sneak. Sneak 100. Oh shoot. There was a boar here! There was, and I don't know where it is anymore. Hold on. Let me grab this flint, because we can make more arrows. Like, straight up, I might not even need uh, a bow at this point. There was a fish over there. Supposedly you can catch fish, but I'm not going to be able to build a fishing pole for a really long time, and um, I've never actually crafted a fishing pole in this game before. So I have no idea how long it's going to take, if I'm perfectly honest with you guys. But it's okay, because as long as we have necks and boars and deer, we're going to be really well fed. So it's going to be alright. We don't need fish right now. Grab all this flint. Any more necks around? No. Oh yeah, here's one. Where are you? I like how there's lily pads that grow on their skin. Oh, he's running, he's running! Yeah! Ugh. I always thought they were just spotted, and it wasn't until recently I realized that, like, they have lily pads, like, stuck to them. I'm not sure if they grow out of them or if they're just, like, sticky, so the lily pads just kind of cling. Either way, it's kind of cute for as grumpy and mean as they are. Alright, let's cook so some food. Alright, so we've got our boar meat cooking. Well, that's cooking, let's fix up all our stuff. So we're wearing a rag tunic. I should really make some rag pants, but I really want to make a bow. Which doesn't look like it's an option yet. How much more leather scraps do I need? I need eight? Oh, I need like one more, okay. I know that we can make now leather tunics from the deer skin that I have. Which is great, because there is no room. Yeah, there is. There's one right there. Ah, there we go. Um, it's amazing I haven't caused some kind of, like, catastrophe with this fire. You know, making all the grass in my house set on fire, but it's okay. We've got Valheim physics going. Oh, looks like we've got a neck trophy. Gross. 
nothing like having a creepy amphibian's head on your wall, you know? You don't have any more cookable items, okay. So when these two are done cooking, that looks like it'll be it. And then it looks like it's nighttime now, or getting to about nighttime, so then we'll go ahead and take a nappy nap in my nice new comfortable bed that Hugan will not be randomly appearing on, hopefully. And then uh, we'll continue with our day. Alright, good morning. Let's see. We're in the wee hours of dawn, apparently. You know, I can be an early riser. Alright. Oh, there's a boar right there. I should probably put these. Oh, there's two! Yes! Perfect, because we need the leather scraps. <laughs> Got him. Okay. I'm gonna go get this guy. Your toast. <laughs> Gosh. Just one shot at that guy. Okay. Any more? I don't see anything moving. These look like they're all rocks. Okay. Let's see, do I have my leather scraps? Ah, yeah, I got nine. Okay, so let's go make a bow. Because that'll help. I mean, we know now that I can sneak up on deer, so I don't need a bow necessarily. But, you know, it would be good to have. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to club! I don't want to club! No! <laughs> no! I didn't want to make a club, I wanted a bow. Oh, no. Okay, I still have enough leather to make a bow. I just need to grab more wood. I meant to click the button to repair it. And then I didn't, and I couldn't stop it. Ugh. Well, we got a club now, so I can lump his thing. So it's not, like, a bad thing. For leather tunic and pants, I just need some more deer hide. Right now we've got five. I could make some rag pants, but I need to save those leather scraps for the bow. So I just need to go get some wood. So let's go ahead and put my shield for protection. Okay, I should have enough wood now for a bow. Alright, carefully repair my stuff, and then, whoop, let's see, crude bow, that's what we want, there we go, now I can go ahead and do all that. I'm actually gonna, I don't have enough room in my house, so I'm just gonna put a chest out here, because necessity. Let me see if I can just build a chest real quick, so that I can put some of my stuff away. Then let me make some more arrows, and then we'll go hunt some deer. Flint head arrows. Oh, I need feathers! Okay, so I gotta find feathers somewhere. I have no idea where I'm gonna find them. Supposedly you can shoot the, um... Supposedly you can shoot the deer, not the deer, excuse me. You can shoot the deer to get leather scraps. You can shoot the birds for feathers, but I have like literally no idea how to do that. Since we've made a club, we may as well bring it with us. And uh, let's explore, shall we? We haven't gone much up here. Let's just see what's around. Well, I hear a deer. Ooh, raspberries. Ooh, 
the thing about the sound design is there's always this like rustling and stuff so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes like if there's actually something around or if I'm just hearing background noise you know looks like we've got another big field out here ooh more berries love that I don't see many animals out here though. Oh, just kidding. Let's try and test out my bow. Oh, I pissed him off. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay. Let me grab my club. Here he comes. Okay, so my aim isn't so good, but, um, we got a boar, so that's always good. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about this game is that you can't recover arrows, like in real life. So once they're gone, they're gone, which means that if I'm a bad shot, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to make more arrows about it, because it's not very forgiving in that way. Luckily though, there's, as you've seen, there's a lot of flint around, so I could make a lot of arrows. The problem is I need feathers for that, and like, I don't even remember how I got feathers in the first place? So, I might just avoid using arrows until later. Cause, nah. There's another boar. This other boar is just chillin'. His homie just got murdered, he doesn't even care. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Ooh, is that what I think it is? I'm just gonna walk in. Aw, oh, yeah. Black Forest! Hugin, what's up, my dude? Turn back, this is a dangerous place. You've wandered into Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove your worth by slaying Ike there. Okay. So Hugin's doing a sod and is like, nah man, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed in here. So we're gonna stay away from the Black Forest. Because we need to prep ourselves for the Meadows boss, which is Ike there, that big deer. So we're just gonna stay on this side. But hey! Now we know where the Black Forest is, so that's cool. I believe the Black Forest boss is like that really big tree guy. I have no idea what his name is. He has a name, and it's not Treebeard, which I know that would be like a copyright thing, but like that would have been the perfect name, so it's a little disappointing. I'm just gonna kind of skirt the edge of this Black Forest. A lot of crows happening over here. That's not ominous at all. Can you not with the crow noises? It is doing absolutely nothing for my anxiety. See, because there's carrot seeds over there. <sighs> I really want those. I'm just gonna yoink, steal. Okay, and then we're gonna leave. Woo! Skeletons! Skeletons? What? Nah, man. I don't want to deal with no skeletons. Are they coming after me? Oh my gosh, there's like a whole base. Do you see that? Oh no. <laughs> what are they doing? Like, inching forward. Oh shoot, they're coming after me. Okay. I mean, they're far enough away. They're not going to get me anytime soon. But yeah, let's, let's bounce. How about we don't? Okay, so that's also Black Forest. Shoot, I'm just like going deeper into danger, aren't I? Let's get away from the Black Forest. <sighs> what is your deal? I don't have the time for this, my dude. There are skeletons afoot. Ow, what? What? Who's mad? Who? Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Freaking Grey Dwarfs! 
Why are you even in the meadows? This is not your land. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, you guys, I'm not prepared for that. So we're just gonna run. We're just gonna book it. Eventually they'll go away, right? Right? Ooh, they sound close. They sound close. Ooh. I still hear them throwing rocks. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, go away! Oh no. Oh no. Go- Are you kidding me? There's like four- <laughs> No! This is not your land! Oh my gosh. Oh no. You guys, I don't even know what to do about that. Why are you still- There's four! And they got rocks! Oh my gosh, I have no stamina either. At this point, I'm gonna lead him to my house and I'm gonna break it. Okay. We're gonna have to just take some down. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've been killed. I have been slaughtered. Hugin the Raven offers helpful hints. Yeah, he wasn't kidding about the whole black forest being deadly. I just wanted some carrot seeds, man. The skeletons didn't chase me. I don't know what's up with those guys. Oh. Yeah, so Grey Dwarfs are like the Graylings, like, really messed up big brothers. Total jerks. Man. Hold on, I'm gonna try to adjust something really quick. Because... Ugh, you know, I don't, I don't even know. Mmm... I have- I don't even have enough, like, stuff to make stuff. I'm just gonna have to run in my underpants. I think it's like this way. Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh. Hi, dear. Ugh, oh, I already hear a grayling. Let me eat this raspberry. <sighs> See, now I just gotta hope and pray that those guys are gone. Because if they're still there, like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't see them. So we're gonna inch very carefully. Yeah, boy! Okay, so it's this dude. <laughs> Punch him. I'm gonna kick him. I love how my improvement was in my fists when I clearly kicked the dude. Okay, so before anything else happens, <laughs> let me put my freaking clothes on and eat some food. Oh my gosh. And let's never approach the Black Forest again, not for a while, because they are not kidding around. Oof. I know in my last video I t said something along the lines of, like, getting my girl some pants. But, you know, I just, I think it would be better to just save up for leather from deer, so I can make better clothes, because the le leather tunics are going to be a lot better. But, I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of deer around lately, so... I don't know, I could also have those bees. I could do something about those bees, you know. Here, I should probably cook my meat real quick. Dang, those guys are no joke! Oh, offended. No room, yeah, there's no room for this kind of death. Ugh. Okay, so... Let's see, we've got a hoe for working the earth. Does that mean I could plant these? Like, in theory, I could. But, I don't know for sure. I'm gonna try and, like, clear a little area of dirt next to my house to see, like, what would happen. And then we'll kind of go from there. Because if I can start farming right away, that would be awesome. But I don't think I can do anything with it, really. Until I learn how to cook, and I think I need, like, a cauldron for that. That's 
not going to be for a while. Um, but then again, I don't know. We're, we're going to see. So, let's use the hoe. Level ground. I can level it. I could raise the ground, but I don't have rocks. Or I could make a path. Ooh. Or pathin, as it were. Oh! <laughs> as I break my... Uh, thing. It's okay. The problem is I can't do much with this. I could make a garden. But I think I need something to make it workable? I don't know. Oh my gosh, everything is broken. Okay, so let's see what else we can make. I can make fire arrows, nice, but I have I have to have feathers for that. I don't know where the feathers are. Flint axe, well, I think we already have. No, we have a stone axe, but that's okay. We can make a flint axe later. Got a bow, I got a hammer. I don't have enough deer hide for this. Plus I would rather have like a clothes first. I can make a midsummer crown. Oh I got a hoe. <laughs> um I don't really need a knife. Bro yo, there's styles. <gasps> I could paint it? No way. No way. Aw, I wish I knew that. Uh, I would use a tower shield, but they're, like, really, really heavy, and they make me super slow. Um, I can make, whoop, I can make a flint spear. That's definitely one I want, because you can throw those, and they're great. Which would be awesome. If your eye marks a thing for death, let your arm send the messenger. I always thought that was, like, the coolest description. And then a torch. Okay, so for we need more flint if we want to make a spear, which I might actually have. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's make a spear. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, or I can make a flint axe. Do I already have a flint axe? No, I have a stone axe. So I need six flint for an axe, and I need. 10 for a spear. I'd rather have the spear right now. I feel like the stone axe is doing his job just fine. And we'll make a better axe later. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. And then we'll pick it up in the morning. In the tomorrow, as it were. And then, really, I think we're just stocking up on food and stuff. And then we gotta figure out where the heck Ike there is. Because you know what? I have not found him yet. And I'm not sure where he is. So that would be important to know. Um, whoa. Oh, it's like this just reflection on the water. I thought there was like fire or something out there. I was gonna be like, whoa. Okay, supposedly you can shoot burbs. Let's see if that's true. Nope. As it disappears, you suck. Anything else? Oh. Well, now I have to let this arrow loose. I hesitated too long. Okay, let me just... Uh, it's a big bow. I'm gonna bring my trusty spear with me. Let's just kind of explore up here, shall we? I don't think I've really been up this direction. It doesn't look like there's any berries on these bushes. There's a grayling over there. Ugh. More dandelions. There's the bee house. I mean, like, I'm doing okay on health. I think to get bees, I have to break it. But I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know that it can reflect them either, so I don't know. Let's just see. Okay, leave, 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 leave. Okay. So I'm poisoned, which is, you know, unideal. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, cool. So I have a queen bee and a bu and some honey. Oh, yummy. Okay. <gasps> that means I can go make a beehive. Oh, heck yeah. Stoked. Okay, let's go make a beehive real quick because, yes, there's a freaking bird in front of my house. <sighs> can I 
Oh! It's like glitched into the ground, what the heck? Okay. So I shall be comforted by the fire of mine torches. Let's make a beehive, my guys. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need some wood. Okay. So then, yeah, we'll just go explore. And then while we're out exploring, we can pick up some wood along the way. Because we haven't really been up here, and there's a whole lot more meadow up this way. Plus there's some of these logs and stuff that we can just go chop, which will give us free wood. Mushrooms. We can get another deer, but mushrooms can be hard to come by. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got him. Alright. Okay. Ooh, my, more mushrooms! Yes! Oh my gosh, there's so many. Alright. Ooh, there's another cool house. There's a bed here. That's neat. No chest, though. Kind of close this gap on my map here. <gasps> mushrooms! Oh, mushrooms! As you can tell, I'm incredibly excited by mushrooms. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, boy! Drown me in mushrooms, why don't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think this is the way home. I'm not totally sure. Unfortunately, I gotta fix it. My little recording bar is, like, right on top of my map. <laughs> Oh, yeah, raspberries. Oh my gosh, there's so many raspberries. It's unbelievable. We're gonna eat good tonight, you guys. We're gonna eat so good, you guys don't even know. Nature's bounty. Delicious. I think overall we're doing okay. We got beat up by a whole gang of gray dwarfs. Which kind of sucks, but it's alright. Okay, here's we go. Sneaky time. We've trained for this moment. <gasps> I did it! Oh, yay! Yes! See, I told you we could do it. I was ready. I was born to deer. Oh my gosh. See, you guys believe me when I said I was a terrible shot. <laughs> Little did you know that I was in fact bluffing. Okay, so where are we at is the question. Because again... Okay, so there's the Black Forest again. We don't want to go that way because that means we're going to get shot. Oh, I'm going to try and get this bird. Oh, as he disappears. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna shoot this fool. In the face. And then I'm gonna get him with my axe. Sure. Okay, well we're gonna avoid the black forest because that's a no bueno. Oh, here's a boar. 
Let's practice with our bow, shall we? I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna sneak in. Don't move. No. Aw, oh, man. Now I just pissed him off. He's circling around. I got him. Okay. So if we're over here, that means the house is this way. Again, recording bars like right in front of my map, so hold on. Let's see if I can find my house again. And then we'll call it good. Ooh, but first, raspberries. Probably also eat something. <gasps> oh, oh, dang it! Oh no! Ah! It's okay, I'm going this way anyway. I'm gonna avoid the boar. I don't wanna piss him off. <gasps> Our opportunity to strike! Oh, and she turns around at the last second. What a fake out. Oh my goodness. Is that our house? <gasps> house! Okay, good, I still have a house. <laughs> For a second there, I thought, like, maybe the gray dwarfs found my house and broke it or something, and I was gonna be like, oh. Okay. Speaking of which, you should probably build a wall around the house. Not gonna lie, it's really exposed out here. Let's repair my stuff. Okay. And then let's cook all our meat. And then we'll go from there because um, we're gonna need all that good stuff to prepare us so we can explore farther without, you know, starving to death. Speaking of which, let's eat some stuff. A healthy diet of only meat at all times. Is it gonna... Is it gonna cook? Oh no. It ran out of wood. Okay. Now it's cooking! Oh, it was just like... <sighs> That's called microwaving for ya. Uh, hello, I would like to take my... My meat? My meat is cooked. There we go. There we go. So we've got, that's all our meat it looks like, so once we've cooked this, we'll go from there. Yeah, so while I'm thinking about it, we've got six wood, oh yeah, that's not enough. But it, maybe it's enough for a beehive? Maybe? Man, I need ten wood, okay. So, let me cut some trees. Which direction? Let's go to the over here. These are closer. <gasps> deer. Um, get you deer. I'm gonna get closer first. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to catch some deer, okay? I don't have time for you. <laughs> If he scared away my deer, I swear. Oh gosh! Oh no! <laughs> ah! Oh! That's so much- uh, That tree was just ready to go! Are you guys seriously unbothered by that? The deer didn't even notice. Well, that one did, apparently. Oh, what? Now you're scared? One of them just straight up jumped into the ocean. Okay. Well, I mean, we need wood, so it works out. <laughs> Thanks, Grayling. Okay, now she just wants to die. It's like she wants to die. I'm gonna sneak up on you. You're never gonna see it coming. Or maybe you will, because, you know, you're stupid. Okay. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Not now! Oh my gosh! You... You jerk! 
I'm trying to get deer here. And that's when you decided to pick a fight? Honestly? Ugh. Oh, and now they're gone. Now they're like actually gone. These little rocks look like a cemetery. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Get her, get her, get her! Ah! Deer! You know what? This isn't worth it. Okay. Let's just go make a beehive. Every single time I try to shoot that deer, some grayling decides to ruin my day. Unbelievable. Okay, again with the feathers. No! <sighs> he flew away. Unbelievable. I'm starting to think that that idea of being able to kill birds is total hogwash. Let's go ahead and just put my beehive right here for now. And then... Let's try to build some walls. How are the bees doing? <gasps> the bees are happy! Oh, good. Okay. So, let's see. We can make some wood walls. Yeah, let's do a stake wall. How much wood do I have? 30? That should be enough. That's okay. We have protected the bees. And that's what's important. Let's go to sleep and then we'll get some more wood and then we'll finish building the wall. Just another day in glorious Valheim. <sighs> Getting my butt kicked by nature. Isn't nature so beautiful? Come at me, bro. It's just a beautiful thing. Nature wants to kill me all the time. Every day. But it's okay. Because I will do what I must. Dang it. Anywho, let's chop some wood. Ooh, timber. Oh gosh! You can't do that! <laughs> oh my gosh. Some of these physics for the trees just scare me. Yikes. Oh, come on, man. You wanna go? You wanna go? all over the place. Alright. Let's see, how much wood do I have? 22. I should probably get a couple more trees. He's still there. See, you left the last fight. I don't know why you want to pick another one. Go for it. I'll even let you block again. There you go. You can trade blows all you want, but I'm the one with the shield, buddy. Buckaroo. Are you trying to hide behind the tree? The tree won't save you. Go ahead and just chop up this log, and as I'm doing this, I think I'm about out of time. But, what I'm gonna try and do is really fortify this house so that way next time we'll have a stronger fort to come back to and we can explore more of this meadows area so that we can find the location of our first boss Ikthir but uh other than that let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks in the comments uh thank you for watching